Hello everyone, I'm Noel. Thanks for watching this video and I'm here at Toys R Us. So Toys R Us is not basically a Japanese toy store, but you can still find Toys R Us in Japan. I've heard in some countries that's not the case. So in today's video, I'll be sharing what we can find inside Toys R Us Japan. I'll be focusing on the products that are exclusive to Japan mainly. So I hope you enjoy. And I'm here for an event actually for my favorite hobby, Beyblade, Beyblade X. So I thought, why not just show the store and what's inside? I'm really excited for this video. Okay, let's go. As you can see, it's a pretty big store. My apologies for the flicker lights. But in this video, let's focus on what we can find in Japan. So the exclusive things such as these Kamen Rider belts. Oh, the new Kamen Rider. But not only the new ones, we also get to see, oh, this is so nostalgic, Ryuki, Agito. My favorite is Decayed, we can't find it, but there's Blade. And we also get some clearance here. Some products for very reasonable prices. There's, oh, Mugen Yo-Yo. I'm interested in that. And also we have Ultraman figures on the other side. And here we have other weapons. Ooh, nice. And Pokemon. Wow, Pocket Monster, yes. We have the poster for the new animation, and this is called Monkole. These are small figurines. It's really cute. We also have legendary Pokemons here. Lugia. Nice. Wow. Look at this. There's so many. We still have other Pokemon products here. Quite a good selection. And we have some radio controlled helicopters and cars on the other side. Yes, we have the models, plastic models, such as this, what we call Tamiya, the brand, famous brand. We must have some Gundam figures as well. So, oh, here we have cars, Hot Wheels, and there's something called Tomika. It's like the Japanese version of Hot Wheels. Look at this. Ah, there's quite a lot. It's really nice to see these. I, I grew up playing with these and they actually have a huge selection not only they have the small cars but they have these very very big how do you call like things that you can play with using the cars as for the rest it's pretty um, much what you can find elsewhere but let's keep looking since this is a very very big store Ooh, <laughs> nice look at the bikes this is Anpan Man famous TV animations that many Japanese kids watch. Now I'm currently surrounded by very cute toys. Oh look, Lika-chan. It's like uh, basically Japanese version of Barbie. You get to dress the doll and you have so many cute clothes. We have some princess toys, Sylvanian family. Just passing by the clearance corner they have a good offer of maximum 30%. We have some interesting things here. Starting from Kimetsu. What is this? This looks cool. Oh, Bakugan. Wait, Bakugan. Whoa, this is pretty nostalgic. How, how much is it? 500 yen. Fantastic offer. And this is something um, you can create your own badge and keychains of Kimetsu using this. We also have another Bakugan and other figures. Many of you who are watching this channel, I'm pretty sure you're watching this channel for this specific content. Beyblade, yes! You have so many bays here, look at this, wow! So I have introduced Japanese toy stores multiple times in my video, but here they have a fantastic selection. Let's have a closer look, even though if you have watched the Beyblade video where I challenge the staff who work here. Let's look again. Well, starting from BX020304, where's Dran Sword? Oh, there's Dran Sword. There's even Random Booster Volume 1. As for the prices, they have good offers. I mean, it's basically the original price. And we have the Stadium Bay Battle Pass. This is actually pretty rare. It's hard to find, even in Japan. And the launcher grip, we also have Night Lance. 
and the alternative colors were Wizard Arrow and Night Shield. Speaking of Night Shield and Wizard Arrow, we have the 3 vs 3 set along with the Stadium set. So it's basically complete. We also had Dronzer, so I'm just looking at this pamphlet here, playing the rules here along with this GP system B4 store event. Beautiful. Next to Beyblade, we have some medals from Yokai Watch and some cute dolls. Kimetsu Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, Gojo! Gojo! Oh, look, look at this Tamagotchi of Jujutsu Kaisen. It says Jujutsu Shi. It's hard to pronounce. It's really nice. We have nice keychains. Oh my god, I really want this. Muryo Kusho. Oh, beautiful. I really like Gojo. And we have other characters from Kimetsu. Ah, very nice. So, these products with the yellow tags, they have special offers. This is a collaboration of Tomika and Kimetsu. Here we have many Super Mario figures. Speaking of Mario, let's go check the Nintendo area. So here we go, this is the official Nintendo area. We have a lot of figures, also video games, Splatoon. Oh, they have Amiibo, this is pretty rare, right? And the additional gears for Nintendo Switch, Minecraft, and the video games. There are some Switch games that are exclusive to Japan, I think. It's funny, they're still selling 3DS games along with Wii U games, nice. And here we have the video games for Nintendo Switch, along with the cards for Animal Crossing, sweet. We can also find magazines such as Koro Koro magazine and some video game magazines along with some costumes here and the latest Kamen Rider products. And the funny thing is that you can purchase candies here in Toys R Us Japan. They even have like cup noodles, not just regular cup noodles, but Pokemon collaboration. Cup noodles, Anpanman noodles, and some Japanese snacks here. It's pretty interesting. Oh, these are special snacks that come with toys or cars, usually Hunter Hunter, Pokemon. Nice. Kimetsu once again and Jujutsu. It's really fun because we get to purchase these like toys at the same time with snacks and it's really fun. We usually don't know what we get so it's like a random gacha snack Pokemon. So that was pretty much it. I wanted to keep this video simple. It's a casual video of me walking inside the Japanese toy store but I hope you enjoyed. And they also have other things, but the rest is basically things that you can find in other countries' toy store as well. So I focus on the products that are exclusive to Japan mainly, and I truly hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see from this channel. I would love to share these experiences in Japan. It's a pleasure. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.